What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to manually install the virtual display driver in case you want to do it without having to use the installer or companion app and things like that. So, we're going to go ahead and go to the virtual display driver website, and, uh, well the GitHub I suppose. Uh, we do have a website, you can go check it out. Uh, if you go to the recent releases, you'll see our latest virtual display driver holiday update. Uh, we're just going to scroll down to the assets for this release, and we're going to download the signed driver that doesn't say setup. So we're going to download the x64 version. Uh, if you have an ARM64 version of Windows, you can download the ARM64 version, but we're going to download the x64 here. We're going to open that, and the way we install this is we have to add it to the C drive in the virtual display driver folder. So we're going to go to C drive and create a new folder called virtual display driver. Then we can simply drag this in. Now we can right click on the start menu and go to device manager. And in device manager, we can go to display adapters and choose action and add legacy hardware. We'll choose next, install hardware from a list, choose display adapters, and then choose have disk. We can browse to the virtual display driver folder and choose MTTVDD, and you'll see that the driver has an authentic code signature. We'll click on next, and the install will proceed as expected. We'll choose finish here, and you'll see that the virtual display driver is listed in device manager. If we right click on the desktop and choose display settings, you'll see that we now have a fourth display with HDR enabled. If we wanted to if we wanted to customize this, we can simply right click on the XML file and open it with something like Visual Studio Code. Here we can adjust any custom settings as we see fit. Once you make those changes, you will need to disable and re-enable the device and device manager. So to do that, simply go to display adapters, right click and disable, and then re-enable the device. And then it will pick up your brand new settings. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, have a good one. That's that digital guru with a modern day voodoo. The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unbox and kudos, we rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's my the tech, my the tech, huh? My the tech, the architect, huh? My the tech, my the